Wow! Wow! It's here! It's finally here! Faithful Philosopher! How are you doing, YouTube? Yeah! Wah bam splam blam scrap blam scrap boom! Soon to the bum bum bum! I heard God! And God is loud. Sorry. And I'm not. Um. Oh dear. Uh. What did I do that for? Um, alright. <laughs> you know, it's coming. I definitely feel like me doing YouTube videos like this is uh, coming. I don't know. Um, I was just thinking, you know, all the videos I've made, you know, I've tried to get the main information out, but it's just snippets really of all the thoughts and understandings that I have and, you know, would never be the complete picture and, um, yeah, but here I am doing another one, it's sort of a fuck it video, so sort of keep thinking about it and then just fuck it, just get it done, get it out of the way. So I, I heard God, so my last video is called I Saw God and I talked about that, no one's listened yet, um, as of the making of this video, I talked about how I saw God and it was related to Mother God, well, that, that night, after making that video, I um I I heard God. I got a, a stronger connection than I that I've the strong a stronger connection to Father God that than I'd previously had. So I'd had a connection to Father God, <clears throat> and just as a process of thoughts of what I was going through, I stumbled upon. Um, because I was talking about soul phases, like, so I was then able to just think of connecting to Father God as one soul phase, and that kind of allowed it to, to take over, you know, so I think whenever you're feeling a feeling fully, it kind of just takes over everything, and you, you know, all your attention is there in that in that feeling or whatever. So um I felt so I felt father coming and so it was loud. It was, yeah, you know I mean it was like and it's familiar. And you will all of I think most people will have had some sense of this. And later on in the night it brought me back to when I was about, I don't know, four or five and playing with a a glow car. And actually, night no, was the first time for years that I've had to ask God to sort of <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, it's like, but I just wanted to get through that night. Um, I'd had quite a lot of heart stuff, and, and in a sense, I just wanted to see if I would still wake up the next day alive and you know and so but yeah so it was getting full on and I like since then I've been kind of wanting to get back into that that strength of feeling again but understanding that you know things are never the same twice and with God and stuff and it's not as though, you know, I've lost my chance or anything like that. Nothing like that. It's just a uh, part of the part of the journey um, that I'm on, and we're all on a journey. We're all on our own journey. Bloody, bloody, blah. So I don't know. What am I going to try and say in this video? That's 
may be slightly interesting. You know what's what's going on and everything. Um, I think. I was going to mention Jordan Peterson and other potential messiah-like figures, although none of them would ever claim it. And I wasn't going to talk about me and my thinking that I was, am, messiah. Christ. You know, everyone's so stuck on this. You know, we're all one, and so we're all the Messiah, and it's just sort of a bit of a, you know, I'm finding, you know, people, people want their videos to be popular. So, they're saying things which uh, can be pleasing to the majority or the most and just basing things on that and it all just becomes wishy-washy and kind of meaningless. You know, problems on the world stage go right back to the beginning of my videos and talking about stuff about how, why weren't they dealing with the problem of population growth back in the 70s or even earlier. Well, I suppose the war helped knock that down a bit. But, you know, they haven't approached the subject. The subject hardly ever gets approached. You know, they almost see it as a sort of a um, a competition. Let's see who can get the most people in their country. You know, and China's gone over the billion mark. I mean, India has gone over the billion mark. China went over the billion mark a while ago. And, you know, we've got problems now because you know the populations are perhaps not increasing enough in developed countries to keep the economy growing at its two percent and um, populations in other countries poorer countries developing countries growing too fast and you know then having lots of people who want to leave the country which you could have seen at some point, oh, that solves the problem of uh, the, the richer countries not growing enough because they can take on the extra people. So, you know, it's, it's been managed, but it's, the pressure is becoming higher and higher. And it's the pressure, you know, the pressure which, which, which causes... Um, troubles between nations and you know I think the gloves are coming off I think there's been this problem of population has been sort of under the surface but you know it's 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 an issue that needs dealing with and um, there aren't really any answers coming out there's nothing nothing about it just you know in this country it's just a case of we'll build more houses you know it's stress on the land and in the world is people don't want to go there they don't want to go there as long as it's you know still 30 odd years in the future people now don't have to think about it but um... if you've got a kid who's being born about now 
I mean, they're going to be fucking pissed off if they haven't got any world to live in. Who do you think they're going to blame? Both these occurrences recently where I felt I felt Mother God so strongly saw saw face of God. I mean that wasn't the big, biggest experience I've had with God. All the the stuff which keeps me doing it, the stuff which may, really makes me feel wow, that is amazing. Are the feelings I get inside, and they are mostly indescribable. They're just there's going to be millions of these feelings we're just never going to have words for them all and it's kind of pointless in a way and I've felt this for a long time in my videos the st stuff I'm saying once you get to the sort of stage where I was even a few years ago you're not really going to need to hear it from anyone else apart from maybe confirming things you thought yourself anyway You know, whether I was out at the forefront of it all or not, you know, I've I've done what I've done, and um, it's not like I need any credit. I just kind of want more people. To, to get up, you know, up to this level of understanding about what we are and who made us, and because I know it would be, it's going to improve the world as more people are coming on. I'm jumping around a bit. The heart palpitations are becoming easier and I'm wondering if when I get heart palpitation that's somebody going through that that major moment. And the major moment is like a akin to a dying moment, you know. If someone who doesn't believe much, you know, just decides not to know. On their death day, when they take their last breath, they're going to be very much, you know, kind of totally um, in the hands of whatever it is, right? So, I was thinking about this yesterday, when, so, you know, obviously thinking that your body isn't you, and because I'd felt stuff in my heart, and I said, I came to the conclusion, you know, when I'm feeling like that, I'm feeling my soul, I'm being me, the true me, as far as I know, so you sort of feel 10% of it, you think that's the true you, but then you learn something else and that opens up a few more percent and that's the true you, and it gets better and better, so anyway, but feeling however many percent of the true me I was feeling, and believing and deciding to live that belief that that is my soul, There was, there's been more than one occasion, but there would have been the, one of the first occasions where I really had to trust that that soul was okay and, you know, safe and in the hands of <laughs> dot 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 God. 
And there's a moment there, you know, where you're you're totally what's the word? You know, there's no control on your behalf. It's nothing you can do. You're completely <laughs> completely vulnerable. Totally vulnerable. So I'm wondering if get a heart palpitation so the ones that I was getting back in March 2018 or <clears throat> seemed to be quite a lot going on then and I'd had them before but whether each time that's somebody going through that moment and the reason I'm sharing it is because I was one of the first, or even the first, to do that on earth and still be around to talk about it. Because <laughs> if it usually happens on your deathbed, then, you know, what do you do? Now, I'm sure, like, Plenty of people have had experiences, um, but you know, if you can be bothered to look at my story, then you'll see that you know this has not been just some random one-off experience. There's been a sort of a design to this, and that's what I see. But then it's my life, so. You know, I'm not saying your life isn't designed, I think it is. But does it just happen that at this time where we are in this place that I had this role to play? <laughs> and it's okay if I don't get any credit. It's okay if You know, nobody else ever really knows whether I did this thing or not with or God did it and used me in the process. Kind of. That's a, a more real way of looking at it. You know, I was happy to be used. And everyone will probably all of us children of God you know the first will be last and the last will be first you know we will all have our time our moment when when it counts when when maybe everyone is counting on you and what I've noticed is, as I've been going along uncovering truths, they do seem to be spreading. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that's just me at all. It's, it, the truth is coming out. So, I think before I might have felt, oh, I need to to say it on video, and that video then has to be viewed by millions to to get the truth, you know. So that's definitely not the case. That's not needed. It, everybody is being guided to that truth, but I do think, you know, we're in a special moment in our lives, in our soul lives. You know, we may be four billion years old, but most of the experience we had, we've had, will have been in the moment experiences, not things particularly worth going back and remembering because it was all experienced in the moment, that experience is still with us. 
It's not like we need to go back and remember everything that's happened in the last four billion years. But maybe just snippets of understanding of where we've come from. And, you know, I'd even got to the point where I was starting to think, oh, not that different from God, really. I mean, we've been around four billion, God's been around 15 whatever billion. Um, <laughs> until recently, until last week and a bit before when I felt Mother God. And it was so reassuring to feel, and it wasn't even the full force of God, like I said, I had to sort of go, whoa, <laughs> for the first time in a long time, I had to ask for the feelings to be held back a bit. But very reassuring to feel that awesome powerness of Father. And Mother's got that awesome powerness as well, but it is different. And they do play good cop, hard cop. Uh, before it was Father God I was leaning on the easy <laughs> and, and Mother God would give me a kick up the ass. And now it's gone the other way and I'm feeling Mother God for comfort and that's usually quite easy to get into. Um, and Father God, that that was a wake up. For me, you know, that was a, you know, you think you, <laughs> you think you're anywhere near me, what, you know, it's definitely a wake up to get serious, get even more serious than I already am. People might think I'm too serious, but yeah, and and I um, made a Facebook post the next day saying, because as this was happening, it was, it was getting an idea of how much God cares for us and the strength of it. And again, well, this was all part of it. I didn't want to feel full strength because I already got a sense of how ashamed it could make you feel the realization of how much God loves you so I wrote a Facebook post saying if you truly knew how much God loves you you could die of shame you know there there's so much so much love there strength of that love. So it's all reassuring, it's all it's all very reassuring and good and um because also I was trying to I was starting to sort of think with Mother God, oh you know, do you want me to give you some ideas? <laughs> well what would I do if I if if I was in this position and you know the world needs sorting out what <laughs> you know, Father God is going to have had the good ideas. And I was thinking a bit how much they might, how much might have been planned and how much they might do ad hoc. Now, knowing what I know, I think there's going to be quite a lot of ad hoc. Like, if you think the way we like to work, the way we enjoy work, and sometimes, you know, a good plan is sometimes a good idea. And it's good to have a good plan, but, you know, as we all know, plans can go wrong, and, you know, probably a loose plan is probably quite a good idea. And then you, you know, you observe and you're, you're, you act as you go, and, yeah. Um, so I get a good I get a good feeling when I think how you know God's there observing and making plan plans along the way and Mother God executing them. And, uh, yeah. Guiding us along.
before I had that feeling from Mother God, so this must... No, before I had the feeling from Father God, so that was about... Oh, I can't remember now. Five-ish nights ago? Something like that. Um... Sorry. Before I got that feeling, making plans. Oh, I've lost it. That is annoying. Oh, maybe it'll come back. <coughs> so, <clears throat> I'm coming up. Um, you know, men are still coming up for a few more days on the moon cycle. Um, but it's slowing down as it comes to this point, so... And we'll be going down February, up March, and then when get to March equ equinox on the year thing, that's when the, the males are going to go below the medium, and women are going to go above the medium. So, you know, it's winding down now, and, um, you know, the coming down isn't, isn't quite so bad when, when you know it's coming, and I know, so I just sort of feel the adjustment, and then I'm okay, and in a sense there's a bit less pressure, because as you're coming up there's a bit of pressure to perform, and, you know, this is when I'm going to be at my best, and, you know, this is when things should be happening, and da da da. So, you know, it's it's all right, and and as we're coming into summer, you know, summer's always cheery, so that can that can help. I'm thinking more and more that people born in the southern hemisphere get this the other way. But I, so I guess you'd have to be born there. So if you're born there and you come and live in the northern hemisphere, then you're going to be different to all the people who are the same sex than you and I've noticed I have actually noticed a few I mean yeah but um, what was I going to say anyway No wonder my video is dead. Not dead, but yeah, dead. Let's face it, dead. I don't think anyone's watching all of them at the moment. So, for anyone to watch all my videos, you know, there would have to be a heck of a lot of hype about me. You know, it'd have to be a lot of hype about me. So I've got a better connection to Father God now. So instead of coming directly down into my crown, like a beam, it's coming from diagonally up through my back into my heart. And when I was feeling Father strongly, I feel like my whole head was not almost not there and um I did get a bit resistant, a bit hesitant 
a little fear crept in, what if this isn't God and stuff like that. So it felt like it was going to suck me away. <laughs> And when I'd felt Mother God before as well, that was sort of stronger than I'd felt before. That was you know, getting to the point of thinking I might cease to exist because of the enormity of God. You know, so if there's a reason it's taken four billion years of developing before we could have full awareness of what we are. And then there's no major rush to get it done. It's got a true true change is gradual, gradual small steps. Um, we will be tested all the way. You'd want to be tested, wouldn't you? You'd want to know that you'd learnt the lesson, that you'd got it right. I keep getting tested with this, you know, sexual thoughts now and then. There's just been this girl I barely even know, and you think, why her? some reason keeps popping into my head and I feel some sexual attraction and and I'm doing that thing that I was talking about like means I want to feel from mother but there does seem to be this sort of extra carnal layer but each time I either and I don't want to be forcing it too much, I want to understand what's going on. But each time I get to a feeling, I um, feel a hint of mother, that then takes over and then I'm feeling mother God. And the, the sexual urges just dissipate. Or I feel a bit of my soulmate and that does the same thing. Because suddenly I'm feeling something from my soulmate and although it might not be sexual it's it's still more overpowering and I'd like to think that I'm you know I'm making the changes my heart is starting to win I think that's what I was gonna say that's what I'm starting to notice is that my heart is starting to win and I've may well have said that before, I thought it before, and I've, yeah. And that's because of the experiences I've had, they're more numerous, they're more recent, you know, they're, they're weightier now, they're much more, yeah, it's like God's kingdom. crumbling the toes of the statue. One day, I know someone will be watching this video. It might be seven years after I recorded it. 
And if you've watched, <laughs> if you did the thing where you watched from the first video and and you're watching this video now, it's like 363rd video. <clears throat> Then you know me quite well. <laughs> and, uh, peace to you and love, as you are my kin. We are kin. I'll say, well done. Well done to you. Maybe I feel bad <laughs> that you've done this. Well, I think that'll do for the moment. <sighs> okay. Should I do a massive exit thing? Oh yeah! Like! Like it! Like the video! Share it! You're not going to share it, are you? Um, Subscribe. See, I rarely ever say that, and it sounds shit saying it. So I'm gonna stop. <laughs> you all think I'm mad, don't you? It's how you feel that counts. You know, the brain, the mind. The mind doesn't know anything. It's just a calculator. So I think. I'm not there in my mind. My mind is a kind of a interpreter. And a, a tool. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough, isn't it? I'll uh, say ciao for now.